I'm gonna keep preaching, sir. Well, I can't disagree with what you're saying. Yeah. I can disagree with you doing it right here. Yeah, that's okay. You gotta move as long as it's this your property. Yes. Church property. Yes, it is. Okay. You need to oh, so you, you do disagree? Oh, okay. No, I just. No, I don't disagree with what you're saying. What you're trying to do, yeah. you just can't do it on my property. Okay, you, okay, just you disagree. Move to the end of the road. Where's your property extend to? Goes right to the fence. Okay, so you do disagree. Yeah, that's. I don't know, disagree. Yeah, yeah, you missed you, me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you didn't hear what I was saying. No, I hear what you're saying. I hear it all the time. That's why well, we have a Holocaust because the churches don't do anything. No, but I'm okay with what you're doing. Well, what you're then saying. what's wrong with me standing here? Just honestly. Because I may have some people who don't come here because they do disagree with you. Well, please, they, 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 please, they're the ones that need to see this. Please, right? just move it right out there. Okay. We don't have to escalate anything. Just no, I'm not escalating anything. I'm trying to raise awareness that we live in a Holocaust and most professing Christians don't do anything about it. Well, this Christian does. we got a great service inside and you probably... Well, let, 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 let this help to wake people up who aren't in Last time I say it, please, move to the road. All right. I'm sorry you don't agree with me, sir. Can I give you something before I go about this Holocaust? I, well, not, I think you do because we're not in agreement. What's that? Is that your Bible? It's my Bible, yeah. I have one. I don't need your pet. Yeah. Anymore. Well, are, are you are you loving your neighbor as yourself in the midst of a Holocaust? Yep. yep. What, what, what are you doing? Last of the conversation. I'm going to raise my voice. Move to the road now. Okay. Am I at a church? I can't tell. Am I at a bar? You're acting like you're at a church. Ah, I, I can't tell because. What? Why don't you go inside the church? Because they probably treat me the same way you're treating me. Yeah, that's... <laughs> what? Why do you think I'm lost? Because I'm speaking up for helpless babies when the churches won't do it? Is that why you think I'm lost? you got people that are coming in here that believe like you do. No, 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 they don't. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. We, we would think coming to a church that people would want to help us, but they, they don't care. We do. No, well... But then you're telling me to leave the property. Help you, we can help it through our church. Well, what are y'all doing about baby murder happening on your watch? Well, don't no, no, tell me. I'm I'm a Christian. Tell me what you're doing. Well, I've been trespassed. I've been trespassed, right? Huh? I've been trespassed, right? Yeah. At a church. Perfect. At a church. At a church. Yeah. 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 Why don't you come in and worship with us instead of staying out here? Well, are you loving your neighbor as yourself? Oh yeah, we are. We are. Oh, are you loving these neighbors? Yeah. I can't tell when you're trespassing me. Yeah. Because we don't go in there, stand on, go down there and stand on ladders and get arrested, where there's no fruit for what you're doing. Well, not, you now, because we're now you're judging us unrighteously. Yeah. Well, more Christians should be doing that. Condemn it. Yeah. More should. Why do you condemn that? Well, you're gonna come down here. I don't. I don't condemn you. You already did. No, you condemn yeah. us. How am I condemning you? By coming here and saying, what are we doing? We're not well, saying. I'm asking you. We're not. Born. No, he said I'm not. He said I'm not born again. I don't know. Are you? Yes, I am. Okay, well, why are you kicking me off the property? What now? does it take to be born again? Because you're on our property. Yeah, what's wrong with that? And you're tres trespassing. Okay, I'll be off the property. Yeah, go. It's at, a, at, a, at a church. I saw two cars were going to pull in here. Yeah. Sure you, you know, you know the guy on the, on the bullhorn who's your pastor? You know, he's he's a ringleader. You know, wh what are you doing here? Well, we're, people are born again. Because Christians aren't going out to the place for the murdering babies. That's why we're here. Okay. We need more Christians to go out to love their neighbor as themselves. You're sitting here telling me I'm not born again. You're born I know. I didn't tell you that at all. I didn't tell you at all. Again. I'm not telling you that at all. You're wasting your time here, son. There's so many more people. Should I go preach at Walmart? Will they care more? Will the pagans? Are they lost? You can reach. When's well, the last time you won somebody to the Lord? Why are you asking that, sir? Because that's what we're called to do. Are you winning people to Lord? That's what we're, yes, yep. I am. Then why don't we see them at the abortion mills? We're all over the community. If you guys knew anything about this church, you'd find somewhere else to go. Well, we, we're we're, at, to, we're yeah. out in the community winning lost, not or, turning people away. Well, what turns people away is not acting like you're living in a holocaust, not going out to the abortion yeah, mills. What turns people away is telling them they're, they're sinners and they're not believing not said, I have not said church. that today at all, sir. Every one of your I have not said that at all today. Please, please don't, don't make false accusations. Move. Okay. Take the sign off my property. You want to stand out there on the road. Go. This is how the church, the American churches, treat abolitionists. Yeah. I. Yep. You would treat the abolitionists as slavery the same way. You calling the police now? Well, if the churches would treat us like Christians. If you're saved, I can't tell, sir. I cannot tell. I cannot tell. No, you better fear God. Trespass from American Church once again. You better fear 
through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is coming back in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them. This is why this Holocaust continues. Apathy. Apathy. Not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and the glory of His power. Not one of you has shown compassion on this murdered baby. Not one of you. With ten Not one. Of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed. Have some compassion on these murdered babies, sir. Speeches which ungodly sinners have some compassion on these murdered children, them. sir. These are murmurs. We got 500 and people in the walking yeah. after their own lust and whose mouth is like swelling words, right having them in the words of admiration because of God's saying you got a great message. But bring it to the people. Repent. We are. The people are here. We are. We will laugh at you. Phony fraud. Well, that's, how the, that's how they treated the prophets. They laughed at them. They mocked them. They first treated the murder. We didn't treat the prophets that way. Oh, you're doing it right now. You're, you're, you're trespassing God. us. Prophet. Telling us to go away. You're a false prophet. Are you, are you a Christian, sir? I'm asking you. How do you know you're a Christian? I'm born by the blood of Jesus, son. What are you doing oh, about this? If that's true, then have compassion on these children. Then have compassion on these children. You're a hypocrite. You're a child of the devil. Is what you are. Have compassion on these children, sir. I'm not seeing any compassion. Your message, your message yeah. is unbelievable. I do every day, man. Look, I know it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that home. Christians will not love their neighbor home. as themselves. That's you unbelievable. Every day, you don't know God. That's you unbelievable. Morning, folks. You can leave on the ground if you want. You can leave on the ground if you want. Hey, thank you for the offer. You're going to need it in hell, sinner. You're going to need it when you die. straight to hell. You're going to need all the water you can get, buddy. the Lord God. You're going to die off of water, and you're not going to get any. Yeah, this this talks about how to abort abo 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 We're not, we're not for abortion here. Well, that, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. We're pro-life. But... Sure. That, that, that's Foundation. for pro-lifers. Thank you. That, it well, talks then about a bottle of water would be talks, for you. Yay! This is sealed. You, you, can, you can leave it on the ground if you want. Huh? You can leave it on the ground. Huh? You can leave it on the ground. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. I believe in the same Jesus here, man. Love you, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, you, 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 you may be. But let, let, let me ask you. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say your names. Fall. Candy and uh, Miss Candy and and. What's your name? Steven. 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 Okay. What? Um, you may not be able to answer for all the people here, but let me but, but let me ask you this: Do you know? Um, do you all go out to the places where they murder babies? The place, the, the abortion mills, the child sacrifice centers. Do you all go out there? I don't personally, but I do. I do sponsor and help one of my one of my you're friends that actually go out there. You probably know Pastor Dick shame. Maxwell. I do. Yeah, he yeah. goes he goes here. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor here. Well he or he, did he used to be or he still is? He still is, okay. but he's he he just comes and serves here, so the he's not sin. like he used to be on staff but he's not anymore. Yeah. Well that, that that's why we're here because God. like what um Stand because the churches the are not going out to the places where they murder babies. And it's like, and even on Saturday mornings when most people, some are, but most are not working and not in school, sure. and yet they, they still will not go out to the places where babies are being murdered. Right, well that's so that, because the church isn't taking their place in the community. So that, that's why we're here, because it's, it's a call to repentance. Where like, it's great. let's it's repent for not loving our neighbors ourselves. We're not against what you guys are doing, it's they are. necessary. They are. But when people are like, and screaming at one of the pastors here that are on staff that he's going to hell, are you serious? You shall find well, rest your pastor seems to have some arrogance in him. He didn't seem very humble at all to me. <coughs> I don't see any, uh, any humility in him. He seemed, he seemed haughty, so, arrogant. So he's not They're saved? I'm not saying that. I don't know. From, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you this. From their behavior, I'm, I would lean to say that I, don't, I doubt they're saved. I'm not saying they're not saved. I'm just saying that I cannot tell they're saved from their behavior. The Look, they trespassed me from the property when he said that we were in agreement. Called the police, which is a violation of scripture. Because Christians, I believe it's 1 Corinthians 7, Christians are to settle the matter outside of calling on God. So didn't he try to talk before? What's that? Didn't he try to communicate with you guys before that? You mean before to this morning? Or, I mean, um, you don't want to listen not not much. Did to 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 just told me to leave the property, and it's like, why? If we're in agreement, why do I need to leave the property? He's like, you know, you need to leave. 
Where now it's like, well, then we're not in a group. I mean, if you, if there's an, I mean, if there's, if there's a miss, if there's a disagreement with like, the church yeah. or the pastor or the yeah. way the pastor, you know, chooses Who is to among them? go about doing things, yeah. don't you think it would also be cordial to request Here an appointment and sit down with earth. the man of God and talk to him? Well, I, I can tell you this. Um, I've done that before, and it gets you pretty much nowhere most of the time. 99% of the so time. So this is beneficial? I believe it is when, when you can't get anywhere with the pastors. I I've done it. I, I know many other Christians who've done it. The Maxwell's, I'm sure, have done it. And it, 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 What good is that doing? What, this? Yeah. Well, because we, if, you, if you sit down with the pastor and talk to him, you get the runaround almost all the time. You get the runaround, you don't get anywhere, you don't reach the congregation. Doing this, you reach, you reach the congregation. Yes, I know many people don't like this method. But it's like, how else are we going to reach the congregation if, if the pastor and the elders refuse to let us address them? Every time it comes around, not to be not too weak, it's telling people not to vote for people. Who are, who, are, who are killing babies. My pastor preaches that from to the whom shall I speak My pastor stands for that, and the people of the congregation that they may so hear. But, but how often does the pastor lead the congregation out to the baby murder mills? There is no. You know the scripture that says that every soldier has, you know, they we're all soldiers, right? Well, your Genesis assignment is not my assignment. Behold Everybody's assignment is, is, is unique before God. We're not all called to go out and do that. We're all called to stand in a place where God wants us to stand. Does that make well, sense? Well, it does, but the problem, the problem I see with that is. I vote that way. And I, I share my faith that way, so I am doing something. I am being a light in the darkness, but God has called me to, to serve Him in other ways. But the the problem with that, Miss Candy, is that most professing Christians, like a, a country with millions and millions of professing, tens of millions of professing Christians, less than half of half of half of one percent go out to the murder mills. I mean, it is so few that it's embarrassing. But like I was saying, I was saying earlier. This past Saturday, there were more people. We call them death scores. There were more people there to to make sure the babies were murdered, workers of the devil, than there were Christians, local Christians. In Orlando, I understand your burden. I understand your burden. Again, but in this message, best serving the body of Christ, right here, right now. Well, but but think about especially with what this young man is doing here. Repent. Well, just think about this. Why why can you get so many more people of, of the devil who? Who are there to murder babies? They outnumber the Christians. They outnumber the Christians. They, they, they don't make the excuse. I'm not called to that. They, they come out. We are a force in prayer, and as well. But I see that. But they don't. But they don't make that excuse. They go out when the Christians say, "I'm busy doing this, 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 this." this. The workers of the devil show that they care more than the Christians do. I want you to know that we stand for life here. My pastor preaches it from the pulpit. We stand for life here. We pray for this, such things as this. We support these things as this. And so I don't we, see that. We can't tell. So we, 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 uh, I'm not trying to disagree with you. I'm just saying we cannot tell. I cannot tell when the, when the church calls the cops, when they have us trespass, when they make false accusations. The reason is because it's because of this. Oh no, ma'am, I, I, I've done this before. I have a softer approach. I'm not as hard of a preacher, but I've been. But they still trespass me. I mean, I'm not. I mean, Alan preaches harder than I do, but but they trespass me over there. The reason they trespass you is because you were blocking them from coming in. No, actually, I wasn't. I was standing on the. You want somebody to speak up to you? I was over there on the grass. I wasn't blocking them. Well, I, I wasn't. I was on the road. Somebody to prophesy to you. And this is very angry. Christ was did everything out of peace. Speak unto he did us everything smooth. Christ became death. angry. He was very angry. He was very angry Speak at things that were wrong. Speak unto us smooth. Yeah. That's what this he little dealt with the issues, right? sissy right, right. But he here does. He dealt with it according to the he word. He speaks unto them yeah. smooth things. He's, he prophesies the, much the Bible, man. Yes, but he's doing it with an angry spirit. You prophesy well, I, I see much reason to be angry. You don't prophesy the word of God. How do I know from your own mouth? You say you sin every day. Well, the, pro the prophets, they were angry. God was. God told the prophets God to go. And is they, angry was with the wicked yeah. every single day. Psalm 7 11 for detail. God's angry with this church. Where's the brokenness?
Oh, God we're broken, dang, man. We're, we're broken at the apathy of the churches. That the churches Babies, are full of lost people. where's the brokenness over this, yeah. man? Yeah. Where's the brokenness yeah. over this? From you people. From you people. That's where's the brokenness over this, sinner? Where is it? There are probably where's many the people here on their way to hell. I don't know who. You sit idly by. 